All right, so we have 10 in a row, and uh, we just kind of blew away Stealth A, so it's probably time for FTL to kick our butt. So let's see what we got here. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Lanius B, well, that's OP. And I have not done either the Lanius. Okay, apparently it's OP ship day. Stealth A into Lanius B, two of the strongest ships in the game. All right, what are my uh, YouTube requests? Lanius. I did have a Lanius request here, so did I have another Lanius request here? I have a Mantis B border, a Mantis ship Mantis. Gourmet wants to be a Mantis, Rock Mantis, Lanius Zoltan. Okay, I actually have two Lanius requests, Top Hat and Arcathagamus. So those are going to be our Lanius crew here. Top Hat, I think you were here earlier in chat, and I'm pretty sure that was the YouTube request there. Then Arc Athagamus. I have no idea how to say that, but I think that's the name of the person who requested Elanius this morning on YouTube. So there we go. Um, let's see. It's actually 47 ships since Mantis. And you know what? Just to get this uh, redeemed, here you go, Tarkin. Uh, you can be the NG. Is that... Is that what you requested? Just Tarkin Mantis? Is that what you requested? Uh, Mantis named Moth. You asked for Moth, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a Zoltan, uh, an NG named Moth then. Hamosito, uh, your your name is on the list. All right, and I don't think Burger Burger's the the one mod who will actually do all this stuff for me. Uh, all right, super predictions. Rand will Rand beat Lanius B? Yes. No. The mods are slacking. The mods are slacking. Two minutes on the prediction. And now I gotta remember... Uh, Hamosito, I need to get the next crew. Alright, this ship is ridiculously strong. This this is arguably the strongest ship in the game. We have Lanius boarding. We'll start with mind control. We have the crazy strongest weapon in the game in the advanced black. This ship is just so freaking good. Uh, you really should learn to be a better mod. You should. You should. If you can just do the, if you could just do the predictions for me, that would be, that would be nice when Burger's not around. All right, the ship even starts with like emergency respirators to sell. Yeah. Um, ship that won't get cloaking cannot be the strongest ship in the game. Um, I feel like that's debatable. I kind of agree because I prefer to have cloaking hacking mind control, but the start on this ship is so strong that I, I. I can't disagree with anybody who says this is the strongest starting ship in the game. It's just so insane. Um, probably worth going to the store to sell emergency respirators just to get a second shield earlier. Oh, actually, one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, we got an extra jump if I go through the double nebula. So if I go through double nebula and back to the store, that's probably the best way to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, yeah, I think we can do something like this. Uh, Doubter will feel, feed if Rand loses. Rand humbly requesting to get in line for some next crew name. Uh, Schwartz, you're, you're like, there's like one or two ahead of you, and I don't know if anybody's going to help me or keep track of this, so... How's the parking situation going where I live? Still sucks, but I was able to park last night after I got home from rehearsal, so it was better than two weeks ago or whenever it happened okay let me let me focus here what are we doing we board shields mind control shields run to weapons that's what we do I need to focus up on how do I actually do the strats on this ship uh, he boarded in my shields though Oh my god, first jump is Clone Bay and a bunch of crew. And he just killed my shields. Okay, well, we killed his weapons. This is not starting great. But at least his weapons are kind of messed up. Come on, get, get the weapons down so we're safe, please. Okay. Okay, now we force them to run through here and die. Somebody repaired the clone bay. Apparently he's got like 18,000 crew to do that.
All right, that first fight was kind of insane, kind of r r ridiculous and insane. But okay, we only took like four damage from Flak, Flak, teleporter, clone bay, basic laser. Like, wow, that was a really strong first ship. I don't know if I could have done that better. Um, yeah, Hamosito is first, and then Schwartz user. If you can just wait till I have crew available to pay the cookies, that's that's what I prefer. Because then I got to keep track of things, and if I don't have Burger here to help me keep track, I, it's I can't keep track of stuff. So. Okay. I don't know if somebody else wants me to help keep track of who's in line for crew. I would appreciate it. Uh, okay. Is there anything I want to change? All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, that was a strong ship. Okay, thank you, Pseudo Drifter. Empty jump is empty. We can do manly search with this starting clone bay build, too. That's a useless jump. Okay, this is not starting out great. Okay, alright. This should make the fight safe. We can get this offline quickly enough. Come on, come on. Nice. All right. Um, oh, I don't have a way to breach to make this a completely safe fight. What do I? What can I do for training here? I could I could train my borders. It's kind of the only thing I could do. I could train these guys to do a bunch of attacks over and over while I wait for some dodge training, I guess. This ship reminds you of a nightclub, visually. Interesting. Um, do I turn speed act on? What I need to do is I need to turn on clone bay because the Lanius would eventually kill themselves by killing the ship. I think I am just going to get fighting training by doing and fighting and a little bit of dodge training while we do this. Call that good. Training. I should have moved you there to get one weapon training. Oh well. Oh, we dodged, so we get one more. We, we do get a weapon training here. This time of year, you have more client calls, so half the time you're muted. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying you have to do it, Tyler. I'm just hoping somebody in chat who is active can help me keep track of stuff. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Best boarding weapon support in the game. Okay. Man, do I want to... I don't even want to sell that. I just want to get that online. Holy shnikes. All right, I'm going to greet a little bit because we have one more jump before the store. We don't have any missiles. That's true. This eventually will be useful, but it's not useful yet. But Breach 2 Bomb with Lanius boarding, that's almost like... Like ideal meme build for this ship, right? Oh, Jesus, a rebel rigger. This has been shittily overpowered ships to start this sector. Okay. I should pull the pilot at least. Okay, that's good. Uh, no, kill the... Oh, we don't want to repair that. The problem is we also don't want to repair the heal base, so... Okay, he didn't. Is he fixing... What is he repairing? Nothing, apparently. Okay, we're venting the room too quickly. I'm still trying to run. There we go. Nice. Okay. Should be able to get second shield from the store now. And we say we're going into the breach. Sure, if you want to make a subset pun. There you go. Well, I don't know that I want two stores, do I? I just want to sell emergency respirators to get shields. And second... Second store feels a little bit wasteful. But what if a heavy laser? That's eh, true. What if a heavy laser? Um, I think I'm just going to go to one store here. This ship kind of needs almost nothing to be in good shape. Holy weapons, Batman. Holy store. I want this entire store. All right, well, we're selling this. And I've got to just... i got to think here. 
we're a boarding ship, right, chat? We're a boarding ship. I shouldn't buy a flak. I shouldn't buy a flak because we're a boarding ship, right? Right? Where's Sleeping Dragon and Mike to talk me out of buying this flak for this boarding ship? Anybody here to talk me out of the flak? Because, <laughs> oh my god, double flak would be so good. No way you can pass on flak. Need flak for Zoltan's shield. Flak's good for taking down super shield. Buy the flak. <laughs> uh, you all are not giving me the suggestions I'm supposed to take. I'm a boarding ship. I already have a flak. I know, I know I do. But I want all of the flaks. First laser 2 is too expensive. We've had one flak. What about second flak? Do not buy the flak on your boarding ship. Thank you, Tyler. Okay, that's what I needed to hear. All right, I want the flak, but this is this is the correct way to play. This is this is what we're this is what you're supposed to do. Uh, and then get hacking is what we're supposed to do next. Thinking, man, do I sell the breach bomb? Look at me being a responsible adult. That's right. Boo. Space, you lack the moral fiber to be a boarding ship. <laughs> I don't think he knows about second flak, Pip. Um, I don't think I need to sell it yet. Do I need to get fuel? Buying fuel on a boarding ship. Name a more iconic duo. Uh, do I need to buy fuel yet? I'm at 10. I'm gonna buy one fuel. And then maybe I need to get one engine power. But saving up for hacking is usually what we want to do next on a boarding ship. You're supposed to drive on the left side of the road in England, but you won't see me doing that either. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Please don't hack my telephone. Okay. You hacked my O2. That's a little worrying as well. It's okay. If I need to reset my crew, I, or refresh my crew, I can do that here. Okay. Alright, do I want to do what I did before with a little more fighting training? We can't get dodge training this time, so... Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll get a safe ship at some point. Let's, let's, let's just do some fighting training here. Like we did last time. We'll do that. Oh, I could have killed my crew with the O2 hack. No, level 2 O2 hack is actually safe. But I actually forgot about that. A map at the end of the sector. Thanks. Okay, it's not exactly the end of the sector, but still. One, two asteroid field. Three, four asteroid field. Five. That's probably what I did. Uh, you stop for green lights and go for red lights. Are you a bus driver? <laughs> okay. Let me get level two engines in case we need to run from a bad fight. And then now we're saving for stuff. Now we're saving. What's the name of all your ex-wives? Miss Takes. Well done, well done. All right, this is, this is a training ship. I can't weapon train here, but I can dodge train. So, let us do this. Let us do that. We'll even cross train on Arlanius, because why not? This guy's not running, right? Poking actually slows us down a little bit, but... Hey chat, look, I'm invalidating the streak again, according to that one YouTube commenter. Streak invalidated. Better stop watching my videos, everybody. Not even real runs. Might as well just hack to the victory screen and say it was by our skill. Might as well. It's the same thing. Shame, I know. Do I care about training my Lanius on dodging? Not really, but I think I'm going to do it so that I can train my human and NG on shields. I think is what I'm going to do. What's worse, Twitch chat or YouTube comments? Ooh, that's tough. <laughs> that's a tough one. Although, getting actual shield training is... 
probably not going to happen. I'll put human on shields. And we probably get these guys both on engines and piloting before human ever gets shield training. Not a real run unless you waste time. That's right. Uh, you'd care if it was cheating. Train O2 training. Yeah, I don't know what that means. You'd care only if it was cheating, I think. I don't know. I, the, the problem, the whole problem with that YouTube comment is that what even is cheating in a single player game? A single player game where we were challenging ourselves. What even is cheating? I don't know. That person on YouTube thought it was using speed hack like this. They thought this was cheating, so. Cheating. Oh, speed hack, so cheating. Please have two boring hours of solitaire. Yeah, we should totally do that instead. Okay, I think we're gonna call that good. Now, let me wait for the O2 to come back in these two rooms. God, I can't even click these buttons here. There. And I never saved you on there. Okay, save those positions. All right, and I'll get a little bit more fighting training while sending these guys uh, by sending these guys over here. We want Top Hat to get the final hit. What we'll do is we'll start with Arkatha, Arkatham, Arkat. Not sure how to say the name. You finish that one. Uh, you guys hear a lot more pun-ishing. Nay, more puns. Okay. Here, this is the, we're doing, I'm doing the slow training here. Okay. Uh, I'm not using unfair stuff. I could leave the stream running for 35 minutes, make a sandwich instead of speed hack. It's just convenience, yeah. How are we doing on training, by the way? Pretty good, pretty good. There. There. All right, beautiful. We are getting close to full training on both of them. Nice. We got both of the great boarding support weapons. Awesome. Uh, I tried hacking a backup battery for the first time earlier today. It's amazing stuff. Yeah. Yes, it is. What is Alania's favorite way of playing video games? Using a LAN EOS. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Asteroid field. We're trying to save up for hacking. Makes your life a lot easier. Yes. Getting better at FTL is learning how to use all of the tools. Okay, you've got some pretty good crew going on here. Let's actually see if I can get that drone offline. Nice. Good, and now what we want to do is force them to run through that room. I take as little damage as possible. <laughs> Running laps. It's poor Mantis. Hey! Hey, you you come back here! No! No, I, I will not. I will not come back here. Beautiful. Oh wait, it's not done yet. <laughs> oh my god, we we have uh Hey chat, which bomb would you like? Yes. That was what FTL said. Rand, which bomb would you like? And I said yes. And said, okay. One of each flavor, please. Except for Ion, I guess. Speed is often good. Bruce Lee was fast, but he had an even faster brother. Sudden Lee. Well, cutting it close with that flak. Did I? Okay. You would not be that confident. You're not just wind streaking. You're also an entertainer. That was my reason for using speed hack, or at least my justification. I'm trying to have an entertaining stream here. This has to be the Scooby-Doo strat. <laughs> yeah. 
Zoink, Scoob, I can't find that ghost. Sorry, my Shaggy's not that good. Suddenly. Oh, uh, we have like three other requests. Who was the first one? I have to look at my list. Somebody was helping me remember and I've already forgot. Uh, my activity feed is all screwed up. Um, Hamosito was the last one. Hamosito. Thank you. Thank you, Stevie Gal. So many la 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 bombas. We have a lot of la bombas here. Yeah, it's true. We haven't got any missiles. We haven't got any fuel either, so, you know. Um, okay. Oh, God. Um. This guy's ship is really strong. Got one weapon down. That's good. That's good. Freaking level two heal bay or something as well. Okay, only level one. Um. Oh, I need to refresh my crew somehow. Uh, this is this is this is the problem with this ship. If there's one problem with the ship, it's this. It's getting your Elanius to get health back. Hopefully, we'll have a couple jumps going through the exit beacon for them to heal a bit. Hamosito, then Schwartz user, and now Bunny Logic for Sun and Lee. Okay, well, Hamosito's down, so Schwartz user is next. Try to remember. Okay, he's running, and I'm not able to board yet. He has a missile. Okay. I should pull the pilot. This one's not down yet. Two damage missile. This should get it down, though. Actually, I could refresh my crew. I have a small bomb, but if I do that, I'm using my one missile. So... All right, well, another free crew. There we go. That's for Schwartz user. Um, let's put you on weapons so that I can have more dodges with the training we got. All right, so that is Schwartz user. Use the Schwartz, Luke. Now, this is maybe the only ship where a reconstructed teleport worth a buy. Yeah, potentially, potentially. Civilian or pirate? I don't really want more for crew, free crew from pirates, so let's just try to get some scrap from civilian. Have three greens this way, three greens this way. Yeah, let's take the guaranteed civilian here. We have lots of stuff to sell the store to get hacking. That's probably the real thing we just should try to do here. We have all of the bombs. Come on, hacking. All right, well, there's a backup battery. Uh, could I actually sell for cloaking? Do I want to get cloaking? I think I used to get cloaking on this ship, but hacking plus boarding just is just the best play, so... I'm gonna sell Firebomb, get back a battery, and buy all the fuel, I think. One Nebula does not get us an extra jump. Someone set us up! The bomb! I'm gonna hold on to Small Bomb for now, too, just in case. Like I could buy some consumables here, but I don't know what I'm going to need to use yet. I could buy a level 2 clone base so I'm repairing or healing a little bit more between jumps as well. I don't get to check these for stores. Um, Okay, I feel like I still don't do anything. We're trying to save up for hacking. We just take up, take back a battery, be happy. Continue to save for hacking. Sounds wise considering it's my lost condition. Uh, what, losing crew? I don't know that. Losing crew is our lost condition, quite.
it makes it's our make it make the run harder condition. I don't know about it being just like loss condition. Level two point eight, not ideal. Not ideal. Should leave once it's vented. Let us finish this up. Now we can move, and that should pull the pilot. I need a safe fight where they're not running where I can refresh my crew. That's what I need right now. That's what I need. There's another store. How many jumps do we have? We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Small chance at third store. I don't even think I want to check for third store over here. I'm just going to go one, two, three. Can I sell Small Bomb and Breach Bomb to get hacking if I do this? We're still only in Sector 2. I'm gonna... I'm gonna not invest in Level 2 hacking yet. I'm just thinking about that run where I lost Level 1 Clone Bay, got nuked, and I lost almost all my crew. Yeah, that is... That is true. But seeing my store and us at almost enough scrap for hacking, I feel like waiting is worth. And if I micro correctly... Should be able to hopefully play around this. And there's that there's that clone bay hit you were talking about. But we have his weapons down, so we should be fine now. And we'll have this repaired in plenty of time. Honestly, I want to purposely... This 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 fight is now safe. I want to purposefully have my crew die. Oh my god, I think I screwed this up. Uh... Okay, one down. Ah, oh, shit. Ha! Ah! Ha! Uh, I stopped microwing to make sure. Okay, it's fine. We got one guy refreshed. It's better. Maybe we can refresh this other guy. At the next fight, we can make safe. Say if we can hopefully refresh the other guy. Please kill me soon, soon, soon. We will. Lenius boarding crew DPS is quite insane with venting. Yes. Top hats. Not today. You were supposed to die. Oh, well, you should explain that. I told you I want you to die. Oh well, I don't want to die. Well, then why did you choose to be boarding on a clone bay ship? That's that's what I want to have. That's what I want to know. Let's say Let's save for the store. One more jump for the store. Oh, that's a great emote. Whose emote is that? TwitchCon hype. Okay. <laughs> that's a great emote. All right. This is a safe fight, so I can refresh my crew. I'm going to board with... I don't want to do this. How do I do this... By keeping both my guys held as high as possible. I think I board with just the one and mind control. I think that's how I start this. Basically, I want to do as much damage to them as possible while doing as little damage to my own guys as possible. And then have him die. That's the, that's the plan here. That's good. There we go. That should do it. Power that clone bay. Please don't backseat me. Please. I make your ass clench. Well, <laughs> then maybe you shouldn't watch me play a hard mode no boss. There's a lot of clenching involved with, the, with, with playing in this mode. There is a lot of clenching going on. A whole lot of clenching going on. Okay, there we go. We should be basically full health after next jump. Okay. Alright, do we have hacking? No. We have systems and no hacking twice now. Alright, well... <laughs> yes, trust that I know what I'm doing, please. Also, if you tell me to do something in chat, what are the chances that I will read it and do it when if I had if I didn't read it, I still would have done it. 
Chances are high, I probably would have done it anyway. So there's this argument about, or this thing about um, sensor, uh, about systems and store um, spawning things. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 systems in total. If you have 9 systems versus if you have 10 systems and are only missing one, there's apparently a slightly higher chance a store will spawn without systems if you have 10 systems instead of 9. So, what's up, Nietzsche? Um, all that is to say, should I buy sensors? Now, for probably many reasons I shouldn't, but I still kind of want to. Commander Paul, you're not a native speaker. Can you please explain what exactly backseating mean? Is it consulting the streamer in an annoying way? Backseating is a reference to somebody being in a car in the back seat telling you, turn here, change lane, use your blinker, go there. A person annoyingly giving instructions that are unwanted and unneeded. And uh, backseating in, stream, in streaming is basically someone telling you how to play the game. Don't need sensors, just get slug. Well, I'm thinking about getting the sensors so that it's more likely that we find hacking in another store. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, and also I just kind of want to have sensors. This quest is, what is this quest? I think it's an escort. Which could be a store. Small chance for a third store somewhere around here. Six, five, four, three, two. All right, I'm gonna not get sensors yet. I will buy... I'm gonna buy a dodge and a power. I can have that stuff online. Maybe should've got weapon value, but I wanna get some upgrade. Sensors shows the audience what's happening. <laughs> I should've done it for that reason, yes. All right, we have the NG blue option here. Beautiful. And there's a lot of streamers who have a no backseating rule, which means you are not allowed to tell the streamer what to do, and if you do, you get banned or timed out. I don't have a rule, but I do ask for respectful backseating, which is, my preference is ask questions on why would you choose to do such a thing. It's the best way to backseat, ask questions. Repair and hacking, there we go. Oh my god, we could have had three help, uh, three flax. All right, where's, there's the hacking. Uh, I really want the long-range scanners, so I'm going to sell something to get that. That was, I think, the third or fourth store we've seen. It's the third store this sector, and I think we saw one store last sector, so I think that's four stores. Sell small bomb, get long-range scanners. Because we have breach bomb. Free fire hull repair, not free full, full five hull damage. I know, right? Almost like we're getting lucky today. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You all know I love my long-range scanners. I just love them. I just want them. They are too good. Scrap recovery arm and long-range scanners. No, the scrap recovery arm is not tempting in the le in the least. If you've ever hung out in our chat here. The exact opposite of that is viewer decided series where stuff is put to viewer votes. Those can be really good or a complete shit show. Yeah, I haven't done any of those. I should try that sometime. What do I say right now, backseating versus what do you think about backseating? I don't understand the question. Sorry. Uh, this is a safe fight. Do I want to train? Can I train? I got a new crew, right? I got Schwartz user. Do I want to get you training in dodge or I can get you training in shields, I guess. Do I care about shield training you? We might end up putting you there, so yeah, let's do it. Let's continue to invalidate our streak by continuing to train. Do what I say right now, backseating, versus what do you think about backseating? Oh, yes. That's what you're saying, yes. I prefer the what do you think about X as the respectful way of backseating. I know you two people always hate it when I talk about backseating, but it's, it's a thing. You thought this was vanilla. It is vanilla. It's vanilla advanced FTL navigation, advanced edition FTL. But I use a speed hack 
so that we don't have to sit here 20 minutes anytime I want to train my crew. So if that invalidates everything else that I'm doing, any other tiny bit of skill I might show while playing, well, then I'm sorry. You might want to not watch me play this video game. What do I think about all bomb weapon builds? Uh, without an explosive replicator, not very good. Even with explosive replicator, not probably not very good. Alright, let's see how we want to do this. Um, trying to not explode both of my crew is what I'm trying to do. Okay, that'll work. Nice double reward. I'm totally unskilled. I know, I know. I know, I really should just give up. Stop even trying. So unskilled, use speed hack, have no skill. That one guy who made that comment on YouTube, if he watches this video, he's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Cause I'm calling him out so hardcore. It's like, stop making fun of me. It's it's true. It's true if you use speed hack, you should you might as well just hack the game and, and win because there's nothing else to skill. It's just you're just hacking. That's that's what I hear from comments like that. That's what I hear. If you kill a ship's crew, it's a win. Yes, crew killing is one of the best ways to uh, gain high scrap rewards. As Hollow says, teleporter is the best weapon in the game, right? Is that a, is that a Hollow thing? I think that's a Hollow thing. Uh, he's proper seething now. Uh, perfect. I am pissing off my viewer base. Just like a true streamer should. Yes, in general, it's better rewards to crew kill a ship. In general. Think about the three months of Savage Sword Art. In general, crew killing is better scrap rewards. Now, the other side of that is... Often when you crew kill, you get, like, free weapons and things, which is great. But crew killing will sometimes have this weird side effect of you get all these other bonus rewards and don't get fuel. So you... Having running low on fuel on a sh boarding ship is not unheard of and quite common for certain uh, for certain ships. All right, let's see. What we got another civilian. Don't mind if I do. You're not pissing someone off. You aren't streaming properly. There you go. You told me I would support you and what you're doing. Well, thank you. That support is really, really appreciated, Sword Art. Very much appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and get hacked to. I want to get weapon upgrades soon. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. So I have the option to go uh, breach two bomb versus potentially difficult boarding fight. Uh, I'm not pissing you off. My words are like the song of a mockingbird to you. Nice. Another NG Boo option. Very nice. Could be a very, very lucrative civilian sector. FYI, a while ago someone said the probability decreased for seeing systems in stores. With 10 systems, you calculated that the increased chance of seeing the systems you want is slightly better than waiting with 9 systems. So the chance of seeing the system you want is slightly better if you buy the extra system. Is that what you're saying? I think that's what you're saying. This guy could do damage to us, so... No cloaking. Oh my god, that's level 2 cloaking, at least. Hmm. Right, get either of these weapons offline, we're safe. Uh, well. I don't know if our weapons recharge, or our shields recharge in time, though. Oh, the doges! The doges for the win. Are we fully trained in fighting? We are, so I can not worry about training these guys more. But again, make the fight safe first. You actually successfully finished a run on normal. Not impressive to most, but you would never have gotten it without my streams. Uh, it's very impressive, Scott. I would say getting your first win in FTL is like a rite of passage for a gamer. This FTL is considered by many one of the... One of the more difficult games... I won't say most difficult, because I'm sure there's ridiculously <laughs> stupid games like I want to be the guy or something that are meant to be impossible or something. Uh, FTL was designed to be very, very hard, but at least they give you some tools to 
not just die over and over if you know how to use them. But the first one in FTL, I feel like, is a rite of passage. When you're learning how to play, you learn so much here and on YouTube. Can't wait to get a normal win. You want to be the guy. You forgot about that bad boy. Yeah. All right, Slaver Scum. All right, so he has... He has a missile, so we need to board weapons, hack weapons here. What we're going to do is we're going to attack this as soon as they get in, then we're going to advance flak this. Hope we get the missile off. Nice. Back in here. Now you're trapped in the venting. Fight is safe. Oh my god, he's got four crew. He had another rock dude. How many crew you got? Too many, bro. Alright, uh, now I need to do this without taking too much more damage, so... This might be weird, but I'm actually going to leave their ship. And then reboard to do this in a certain way to try to get as little damage as possible. Okay, I'm not sure this quite worked out the way I wanted it to, but it's fine, it's fine. Basically, kill them as they walk in is the goal here. And now you won't walk in. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, soon you'll be getting Harding Mode wins on every ship. When I say something like this, you feel proud beating FTL on hard even with pausing. Oh yeah, you should. FTL on hard difficulty is no joke, just like giant alien spiders. Alright, well, I still haven't seen a store. Um, four Nebula jumps. There's five here, so I probably want to skip this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's get. I got my weapon value. Let's actually have this ready to. Let me get one more power. Have this ready to go. I might prefer to have this online versus two shields. Rock slugs are the worst slugs. What's up, cheesy? Long time no see. Hope you are doing well. Maybe that was already asked before, but have I heard about a game called Tachyons? Have I heard about a game called Tachyons? I'm unsure if I have. If you got a link, you can whisper me. Okay. Better do this. Just trying to be greedy. Let's just do this. Okay, now we're pretty much safe here. Uh, I should refresh my crew with this with this ship. I should refresh at least one guy. Yeah, that guy. Sure. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna purposely run back and forth so they can kill me. Although the NG doing it's gonna take forever. Come on, Mantis, kill me. Why won't you kill me? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Some weird manipulation there made it so that he didn't even fight me as we finished that last guy off. Very nice. Um, okay. Yeah, I would say one of the best ways to learn FTL is watching high-level play. That's, that's one of the best ways to learn. Now, and I'm not saying I'm the best one. There's... It depends on what you want to do. If you want to play no pause, you probably watch Hollow. If you want to learn with pause, you probably watch Mike or Crow, uh, Farb, I think has been doing with pause lately. There's a lot of good pause players out there too. Uh, for no pause, Dolphin Chemist is good too. Um, keep trying to decide if I want to do any more upgrades right now. I still haven't seen a store and I have at least like four jumps with no store. I'm going to do one more weapon and power upgrade. I'm just going to do that. We have both these options available. What are we learning by watching me? How to curse at missiles. That's the thing I'm best at. Okay. 
How to curse at missiles. It's my, uh, it's my, it's my skill. Nobody does it better than me. Take that to the bank. Sarcasm, yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. You can definitely learn sarcasm from me. That's the other thing I'm really good at. <laughs> cursing and missiles and sarcasm. If I had two skills, it's those. I can sing a little bit too, but, you know, cursing and missiles and sarcasm, those are the main things. Well, I might kill my crew here, actually. Okay, I didn't. Uh, then let's not kill them. I don't think I need to. Oh, I almost timed that to bring them back because they don't die, but... Oh, well. Refresh. Uh, you think I'm solid as hell as this? Oh, I'm, I'm good at the game. I'm not saying I'm not good. I'm just... There are, there are better players out there than I am. When you're learning, the most important thing... When you're learning, the most important thing is understanding all the mechanics. True. True. Uh, Tachyon's not out yet. It's a heavy FTL-inspired game. Three alpha version. Content is scarce and alpha. Looks like developers try to work for Steam release. Alpha is multiplayer. I think I've heard of Tachyon's, and I think it looks cool, but I don't really check out early access FTL-like games anymore because there's been so many. I just... If I, I... I just don't have a desire to check, check more of them out. When they come out, I'll check them out. All right, so three more nebulas should get me nine, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, so this doesn't matter. If I go this way, though, I this might be slightly better. Let's go that way. Uh, I learned it from watching you, Dad. Go on. If you want to FTL tourney, there's a lot of players practicing encouraging feedback, too. Yes. Uh, Empowers uh, is been practicing. I think uh, the Necro Rebel has gotten back into playing some FTL, from what I've heard. So there are, there are a lot of people out there you can watch. A lot of skilled FTL players out there you can watch, for sure. Come on. Give me Manly Search. Come on, Manly Search. I want free stuff. Yeah. Bam. Beautiful. Manly search, best search. You're going to try to st stream this game. Stream this someday, and it's going to be a slaughter if anyone good watches me. You're all for it. But the things you're learning from you play is going to make it less painful. Nice. One reason I like FTL and play it so much is I think... I think this is the perfect streaming game. Part here. Okay, good. I think this game is the perfect stream game. One of the main reasons I keep playing it, even if I get so salty at it a lot of the time. Uh, there's nice breaks to chat. Uh, there's so many different. Uh, it's like endlessly replayable. Uh, FTL is. Okay, I actually want this guy to die. Um, uh, there's so many different strategies, things to discuss. I just, I just think FTL is just the perfect stream game. That's why it's become my main game over the years. You got a jet, Scott? Ran, keep streak alive. I'll do my best, my friend. Have a great night. Sleeping Dragon's been practicing? Nice. I bet streaming Dragon, uh, Sleeping Dragon's great to watch, too. Does pause or no pause factor into the tournament at all? Well, uh, that's a discussion you could have. But the faster you win at a high score, the better your tournament score. So no pausing is your strategy that you could use. I just said I like FTL. I do. I do like FTL. I wouldn't have however many thousands of hours if I didn't like the game. As much as I scream and rage at it, I wouldn't still be playing it if I didn't think it was an amazing game. Right, he's got a teleporter, and he's got... Okay, let's go ahead and just... Do that. Perfect. 
Okay. Gotta make make the fight safe. Make the fight safe. Using more missiles than I like, but I have more missiles than I have drone parts, so I'd rather use the breach missiles than the drone parts if I can help it. What you get what you get salty playing FTL, I thought was only on Tuesdays. You've been a beacon of joy this evening. Oh yeah, I play Tuesdays and Thursdays, FTL. If you look at my schedule's below the stream, if anybody's wondering ever wonders why I'm playing whatever I'm playing. I play FTL every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I even play Monday. A lot of people don't know about the Monday because they don't watch the viewerships. But All right, I can only go to one store if I go here. There's not a lot I need at the store, although extra chance that Dalton Shield Bypass might be worth. I could go one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Well, if I go here, I don't know, I'm going to still go there. I'm going to miss out on one store to give, get us an extra chance at... Um, this one extra chance is all the shield bypass. Okay. I'm gonna shoot my own dudes. Make sure the missile goes down. All right, let's reset. I'm gonna do. I wanna refresh both of these guys. Yeah, I think I do, actually. Please kill my crew, please. There we go. I'm gonna go finish him off with other crew if I want. That's gonna take him all to repair, so it's probably fine. Get one extra weapon training by shooting this once she repairs it once. Buy us some more time to get both our guys fully refreshed and go finish them. Beautiful. Hey, another free crew. Beautiful. All right, you have any training, sir? No. Let's put you on. <laughs> yeah, this NG's maxed on shields. Do that. Last salty FTL stream, you actually hit up your mod and was worried about me. Glad it's just a part of the stress of the streak. You hit up my mod and was worried about me. Are you the one that had the YouTube comment about, I like watching your stream, but I'm worried about you? <laughs> I, I get that salty every time I stream, so. Well, every time I stream FTL and get my ass kicked, which is most times I play FTL, so. There's a little indie game called Domino, which has Twitch integration, very adult and gory game, definitely R-rated. It's great for streaming. Hmm. All right. People will recommend games all the time. I'm not really looking for more games right now because I, but I'm playing FTL three times a week and I'm working on my WoW Classic Hardcore level 60 for the first time. So I'm not really looking for other games. Eventually, I have such a list of games that I don't know if I'll ever get to. Um. Well, I guess I could just buy a halberd beam, and we could go flag halberd beam against ships that we need to actually kill. No salt and shield bypass, right? No. Okay. Um, I will do that, so I have the option of going advanced flag halberd beam, but we are still a boarding ship, so I probably don't need that. It would be a not bad dive, but diving without cloaking is not recommended. Do not recommend. No, some, there was another comment that, apart from the one where the guy said I was cheating, basically, uh, was saying something like, I tuned into your stream to relax and watch an FTL, some FTL, and I got heard a depressing story about not being able to pay your rent and your apartment towing your car. I felt so bad for you, Rand. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap. I didn't mean to depress my viewers. I need to be more positive in my streams. Oh, man, this is one of those where it's right on the edge. I could get one more jump and maybe have... Place your bets, chat. Do you think that's a dive? 
It looks like it's not, but I've guessed wrong many times. You don't think dive, no dive. I'm not even gonna take the chance. We'll find out. It's probably not a dive, but I'm gonna play safe and not even take the chance. What's your specialty? Doors for eight? Good deal, actually. It was not a dive, so I could have gotten one more jump. That one, wow, that's crazy that that's not a dive. Abandoned four. Okay, forced abandon. Can you survive a dive? Um, it depends on the ship we fight. It's a complete depends, but it's it's rolling the dice on something we don't need to roll our, the dice on. We're so far ahead, there's no reason to roll the dice on a potential dive. Or potentially... Uh, the, the extra jump I would have gotten didn't even have a guaranteed ship fight at it, so I just it didn't feel worth. Okay, so, uh... Abandoned Sector 4 is when we could fight, start fighting Lanius Bombers, which is basically what we are, which is usually very scary, but we can board with our Lanius and mind control their crew, so we can become the Lanius Bombers ourselves. I am become Lanius Bomber. Where's your award when you told me that it wasn't a dive? Uh, yeah, checks in the mail, I promise. Checks in the mail. Okay. Do I want to? Do I want to upgrade anything? Good power. Do I need like level two teleporter, level three hack or something? Level four Lanius. Uh, apart from level two and three Lanius or abandoned sectors, is less scary than other later abandoned sectors, but it still could be scary. Thank you for the follow, Max. I appreciate it. If it was a ship detected, would I? Have taken the chance at the dive. I might have. Alright, missile, cloaking, mind control, teleporter. Ugh. So I can counter the mind control, I can hack his weapons, I can deal with his boarding. Alright, we're gonna take this fight, even though, freaking Lanius Bomber. If you do this, there's a chance you get no fight at all. So I think we take chance at some missile shots. There's no clone bay either, so I feel like this is worth taking. Poor human, vented out of his own room. It's at least level two cloaking there, not ideal. Bam, nice, okay. And now we can even refresh our crew if they kill either of our Lanius, which it looks like we might be losing this fight. Let's get them as low as possible and then let them finish us off. Crap! I got my own guys as low as possible! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought that was his guy still alive! Uh, okay. Um, I, I gotta use a bomb to refresh my crew. I just have to do it. Going into a Lania's bomber fight with level one crew would just be too bad. Yes, I just, yes, I did just breach bomb my own ship to kill my own Lanius. Yes, I just did that. Suddenly the human requested. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Pseudo drifter. Suddenly. There we go. Uh, who is that? That is Jet, uh, Bruce Lee's faster brother. Do I know of Temple, Texas? Yes! I do know Temple, Texas. My brother goes down there all the time. My brother lives in Lorena, Texas. Do you know Lorena, Texas? That's where I grew up. Well, that's where I moved when I was nine years old. Uh, Temple and Colleen, Bruce Valetti, all those places down there. Uh, suddenly is the faster and more handsome brother. Breaching, breach bombing your own ship, that's a true pro play. I honestly didn't want to use the missile, but I messed up my micro. I should have been moving both of my crew back and forth to let them both die. That was a misplay. I think for 31 months of sub at Jankle Really appreciate, appreciate that. 
Your company has a new plant down in Temple, Texas. Okay, cool. It's basically a safe fight, right? Uh, not with a combat drone. I would like to avoid using the missile or drone part if I can help it, though. All right, how many value points you got in this four power drone? Okay, apparently one. Oh, you asked, is it nice? Uh, Temple, Texas is a nice. Um, I mean, there's a lot of small-ish cities in Texas. Temple's bigger than some of the super tiny ones. Um, it's nice. I think I did a show at the Temple Civic Theater years and years and years ago. Pretty sure I played clarinet for Fiddler on the Roof and another show in the Pit Orchestra when I was in high school in Temple, Texas. Pretty sure I did that years and years and years. I think there's another show. My older brother played Perchick in Fiddler on the Roof, and I played clarinet for it. And then they did another show, and I can't remember what it was. Like Princess and the P or something like that. Caught up on crew names. Awesome. Thank you, Sudo Drifter. Appreciate your help. Sensors, run recovery arm, fire beam, fire bomb, all the fire stuff. I think I just buy all the drone parts. You can buy a missile or two. Could buy sensors. Do I care? Yeah, something else uh, enemy hacking can get distracted by. Let's do it. You've never heard of Hitler on the roof. Nope, that's Fiddler. Fiddler. Fiddler on the roof. The important Texas question, how is Temple's Rod and Gun Club, and how is their football team? I'm pretty sure I have a really good high school football team. I don't know about Rod and Gun Club. Cannot speak to that. I'm not sure if that was a meme question, though. Love you, Rand. You're the best. Definitely visiting from Massachusetts soon. Nice. Cool. Um, do I hack here? If I get the burst laser 2 down, I won't. Okay, we're good. We'll call that good. Beautiful. That was definitely a sarcastic question. I, I figured. I figured. I'm gonna let them do one damage. Bring them back. Do a suboptimal halberd beam swipe for a little bit more weapon training on Sudden Lee over here. Oh gosh, now it's gonna kill me. What was the other show I played? Aha, I remember. I played I played clarinet for the Temple Civic Theater, and I think my junior and senior year in high school. And my brother was in both shows. The first one, the second one was Fiddler on the Roof, where my Fiddler on the Roof, my bro older brother played Perchick. The first one was My Fair Lady. Or my brother, I think, was just in the chorus. My Fair Lady. Two really great shows. Two great classic musicals. All right. Uh, do I want to get one more power? I've seen one of my two guaranteed stores. I didn't see these jumps, I don't think. So I, I don't know if I'll see another store. So let me get one more power. Remember watching My Fair Lady, the movie, with your grandma when you are like six or something? It's great. Um, Audrey Hepburn and Rex Harrison? Rex something. It's a classic. It's a classic. How do I want to do this? You worked on both Fiddler and My Fair Lady back in the day? Nice. Um, I kind of want to hack Heal Bay. Breaches weapons is what I think I want to do to make this fight go faster. I will say, not having cloaking, I maybe should invest in third shield earlier on this ship. Time for eight crew. Uh, I mean, I should probably just hack weapons, right? Hack weapons, board weapons. I think that's what we should do. Just get my breach missile out. I messed that up. Reach 
Let's switch on that. Um, damn, we're gonna take some damage here because we're not getting the weapons down at all. Oh, we got the weapons down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, let me go make sure he's not repairing this. It was breached. Okay, good. Um, all right, I want, I want to refresh. I think I'm going to be venting this guy, not actually refreshing. Yeah, frick. I need reconstructive or something to help with refreshing my crew here. I guess maybe upgrading my clone bay. Oh, man, yeah, these slug ships with, like, six crew and a level two heal bay. So annoying. Your first play was Midsummer Night's Dream. Very fun. Got to be one of the cobblers. Heal bomb. That's what we need. Just vent the lanius, lol. Hmm. Third shield or save up for... Third, save up for third shield or get some clone bay upgrades. I think clone bay. That's what I'm leaning towards, actually. I don't want to breach bomb my crew again. Although, maybe I should. It will one-shot them. Breach Bomb basically is a heal bomb when you have Clone Bay. I'm gonna get level 2 Clone Bay now, and we'll see how the next jump goes. If we have any stores. I still haven't seen if I get a second store or not. If I've missed it, this sector. Giant Missile. Alright, I'm gonna trade... A drone part for health. I'm gonna not use hacking and accept a missile to the face. Crap, if that missile hits me in the clone Why? He dodged every fucking shot! Oh, I hate this fucking game. How did you okay, dodge it? That's some good dodges. Woo boy. Alright, I need them to finish my crew off. Did you guys finish my crew off, please? One down. Two down. Good. My control. Ah, missed my control. It's fine. Let's go over and then finish them now before they get the missile back online, though. Okay. All right, good refresh fight. Ooh, and a double reward. Very nice. And we even dodged all the missiles, you know? Better lucky than good. So many doges. What's my most heartbreaking FTL story? Uh, My 24 streak that got... That was lost on NGA, of all things. If I had to choose a, a single heartbreaking moment, I don't know. That was one of my best streaks because we had all of the hardships down and we only had like Mantis and NG set ships down, uh, left. And not even the hard NG ship and NGB, just NGA. So, I'll go with that. Go ahead and do the shield upgrade. In hopes that I can save some drone parts against lasers and flax and hope they don't all have missiles. You remember the streak that was lost by using speed hack? Yeah, that was on NGB, I think. That was that time I had to vent a human. Yeah, every run. Most heartbreaking FTL story. How about having to stream three times a week to keep Twitch subs happy? <laughs> Bazinga. Am I a fan of the Civilization series or not a turn-based strategy guy? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the... I, I They're great games. They're just not my favorite to play. Okay, what do we got here? Um... I don't think I get here in time, do I? Okay, I need to kill his clone bay. Is that too late? Okay, we got the clone bay, that's good. I might be too late to get over there to board, though. <laughs> I'm not hacking here, it's a little greedy. Thank you. 
Go in your rooms. Okay, didn't let him repair that. Um, cancel that. Let him in. Although I do want you to die, don't I? Don't I? I do want you to die. Uh, let's go over here. This guy should go back, and we should be able to let him finish that one guy off. There. There we go. Good. Good. Good refreshes there. Ah, uh, boarding micro and power micro, my two favorite things, and no pause. Right, right up there with beam micro. You really believe that 24 NGA was going to be the streak? I was, I was thinking we it might be. I was really hoping so. All right, we don't want to go to Pulsar, right? Yeah, Pulsar could wreck us. If I had a Zoltan to hang out in my clone bay, I might go Pulsar, but... You lost personal best when dying. NG took the spot and also when human died. thought the speed hack loss was the most heartbreaking, huh? Okay. <laughs> um... I just kind of want power right now. Both landing screen names already redeemed. Yeah, we all of the crew have been claimed currently, Vega. All right, how do I want to do this one? Flak, drones, heal bay. He has a boarding drone of some sort. I think I will hack his drone control. Um, if it's just a defensive drone, I might not hack at all. Let's see what we got. Um, okay. This damn I and intruder drones are a pain. Okay, at least I didn't get my weapons or shields. But I want to get it offline if possible. I don't want to fight all of those guys. Okay, he, got, he hits my clone bay. Should be fine, though. Finish him. I'm really glad I have um, three shields right now against this fight. This would have been a lot of uh, a lot scarier of a fight if I only had two shields. What was my most heartbreaking chat interaction? Um, heartbreaking chat interaction. I can tell you the most annoying one, but I'm not going to. But it would just feed a troll. So um, I don't know what my most heartbreaking chat interaction. My most heartwarming one was when we hit partner. We'll give you that. We hit partner. We got raided by Twitch staff. We've been working on it for. I don't know, five, six years. I'll go with that. That's that's best memory of Twitch chat when we got raided and actually hit partner. And that was what last September, this past September, something like that. Yeah, not no. Don't feed the trolls. All right, what do we got here? Asteroid field. Okay. Figured one of the names looked like a standard FTL one. Okay. Oh, he's got hacking missile, flak, and a clone bay. So what does he hack? Okay, that. This. Hack. I don't want to use all my drone parts, but all these freaking ships, man. I just, I have to. They're just too strong. This ship is insane. All the way down. I'll right, we'll take one missile here, I think. A little bit of weapon Fucking training. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. Okay. Here we go. Go fix that breach. Do I feel like being partner has made a significant difference since I got it? Um. I don't know. I've been streaming for so long that. The partnership ship almost felt like a formality when it finally happened. It's it hasn't changed that much with how I 
run my stream um, because I it hasn't changed my values of what I want to get from streaming. I, I want to entertain people while playing games, and if I can make a living off of it, that's a bonus. Well, maybe not a bonus. It's It keeps me from having to do other crappy jobs. So it hasn't changed that much. I mean, if it really, you know, changed me or sold me out, I'd be running ad breaks every 30 minutes or whatever it is you could do to make the most money. But I, I just, I never want to be one of those streamers who runs as many ad breaks as possible to milk their viewers for income because it just feels scummy to me. So I, I I don't feel like hitting partners done that much except maybe validate what I've been doing for the many, many years I've been streaming. Um, Rebel or Rock? We're protected from Rock Live Mine. We can board Rebel Auto Scouts. <sighs> Cloaking Rock Missile Ships are the most annoying. Yeah, but Rebel... Pulsars with Rebel Disruptors are some of the worst enemies in the game. Um, where do I think I'll need to hack more often? Because I'd like to use as few hacking drones as possible. Maybe I need to hack rocks less? They have more health and more likely to have missiles. I don't know, man. Rock is two guaranteed stores. Rebel is one to two. So do I go to Rock because two stores? don't really have anything to sell. But finding long range uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass would be nice. I'm going to go Rock for the two stores. Say I'd hack Rock more as I need to keep the missiles away. Potentially. It's... It's potentially there. Neither of these are ideal, but I'm gonna go with the one that I know has two stores to give us a higher chance of finding things we're looking for. Act three, we could get. What am I hoping from a store? What did I say? Is Open Shield Bypass? Let me do one jump here to see if that's a store. If it's not, I might do a hacking upgrade. Rebel will be a few out of scouts, and they don't necessarily need to be hacked. I mean, yeah, but you could also fight a bunch of Rebel Disruptors in Rebel Sectors, so... No guarantees. God, I hope my one of my stores isn't there. That's a dead end. Let's go Hack 3. Gives us our most safety. You just realized it's been two years since you played FTL. Nice. This I shouldn't need to hack. Um... And to save me health, we'll do our normal strat, where we do this. Force them to fight in there. I need to breach bomb them if I want to do as much damage as possible. Keeping you guys healthy, but meh. Meh. Get some uh, weapon training here. Auto fire this. Actually, yes. I could max my weapon training here. I'm going to do that. Because they will never come fight me in the weapons room once they're all low health. So this is actually safe weapon training in Sector 5 or whatever this is. So let's do that. Do I care about cross training anybody else over here? Um, I don't think so. All right. So if I just do this, if I just hang out here, this is free uh, free weapon training. Nice. Nice. I will say I have been a little more liberal with my use of speed hack to train lately. I have been more liberal with it, but if I'm, if I'm ever going to actually successfully complete this streak, I got to use every tool I got. So I don't feel bad about the speed hack, but I am making more liberal use of it. Do I want to cross train on weapons is the question. If I move this NG off piloting, you know what? I think I will. I think I will do this. These rock pirates are like, it's been two months. Two months. Get out of the weapon room. It's been two months. No, I had to really... I, bad constipation. Don't go away. I 
for the raid, Fin Fin Dep. Welcome Raiders. What do I mean by that? Uh, this speed hack thing where I'm going faster, I use it more. That's what I mean by more liberal use of speed hack. And I had a YouTube comment saying that it's cheating, basically. So, I'm just, I've been talking about that a lot today. Probably to the annoyance of many people. Alright, let's finish him off. How do I finish him off while taking the least amount of damage? I'm unsure. Venting another room. Alright. Hey, another crew! Do we have any crew requests in the, um, in the queue? I don't know. If they don't like it, they can set the plate back speed to time zero. <laughs> there you go. Uh, too many humans on the ship. You feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of humans. All right. All right, what do we got? Big giant missile, free borders. All right, let's see what the borders while I hack his missiles. Show your friends, though. This is not down. God, that was really close to... Oh, he dodged. Fucking dodged. Oh, you shitty game. Oh, yeah, I agree, Pastor Rand. I agree. Wow, oh, I insta-kill my guys. All right, that was totally calculated, chat. Totally calculated. Uh, let me mind control this. Stop it. Don't fucking die, Jesus Christ. Okay. I need power. Okay. Get over here. There we go. Alright, this was a really annoying fight, man. Fucking four damage missile. He dodged my second breach. Oh my god, what an annoying fight. Alright, it's fine. We're... we're... I think we're through the the bad times. Jesus, big giant missile rock dudes though, they're just the worst, man. Just the worst. Kill them one at a time. Who made that sound pack? Uh, RPG Nerdos. Using sound bites from my past streams. The miracle of making me laugh at missiles, although I didn't laugh at that one. I hardly ever laugh at a four damage missile. Jesus. No current renames, thank you. Correction, there is now Grima Human Time. Alright, well we can't do it at the uh, asteroid field. We'll get you we'll get you the next jump, if I remember. Mission crew refresh starts with bomb. Well, I definitely didn't mean to bomb my own crew. That was hundred percent a misplay. Holy flak double burst laser. Okay. Holy crap, these ships are insane. I don't again, I don't want to use hacking every fight, but it's at least level two cloaking. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Okay. Give me a fucking break. You dodge that with nobody on piloting? Ah, uh, Jesus. Man, even with fucking level 3 hacking, these guys still have all their fucking weapons online. Uh, why are they not dead? Be dead? Hack? Where, where are their crew fucking die so I can get out of this shitty fight with Flak 1, Double Burst 2? Jesus. 
Oh my god. Fucking rock sectors, man. What's crazy, it's effing rock sectors and it's not always the damn missiles that's wrecking us right now. What does this rock have? Engine training, huh? You know, if I ever get a chance, I'll... Fully train you there. Nine projectiles on a beam with seven weapon power, that guy. With level two, at least cloaking. Stupidly overpowered. Alright, I do. I need a store to just heal now. Get some dodging power, I guess. Four drone parts, too. I'm having to use drone parts. I have to use hacking every single fight. I've been... Like, I didn't buy drone parts before I got hacking, because obviously, who knows how many drone parts we're going to get. Since I got hacking, I think I bought every drone part at the store, and I'm still running low. Alright. I just gotta do it. Just have to hack it, man. Of course, both his missile using weapons are the only things that stay online. Why wouldn't they be? God, don't do it. Okay. Death by a thousand okay. fucking missiles. Didn't hit my clone, that's good. F your fucking missiles. Alright, I do want to refresh this guy, so you kill me. There we go. I'll lock you in there. Him off. Okay, we got two missiles and a drone part. That's good. Consumables are not looking good right now. All right, Grima, human, and Bork rock. Okay. B O zero O R K. Uh, yes, Grima did pay the cookies. Alright, store. Come on, Zoltan Shield Bypass. Certain backup DNA bank, that's the other thing. None of those things. Do we, do we ever stop, swap for Med Bay to refresh my Lanius? I don't think I want to do that. Definitely need to repair. Definitely buy all of those. How much is Zoltan Shield Bypass? Is it 50? Anybody know? Chat, anybody know how much uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass costs? 55. Okay. Home by too good with teleporter? It really is. Although the one weakness is when you have Lanius that you can't vent, and that's what we're having to deal with right now, so. Yeah, I don't think the teleporter is worth swapping. Frickin' calculated chat. Man, Explosive Replicator wouldn't be bad either with our Breach 2 bomb, but... There we go. Can I sell enough to get that? 60 scrap. I'd have to sell, like, Halberd Beam and stuff. I don't really want to do that. Alright, we got our Zone Shield Bypass, we got our Teleporter, we got our Breach Missile. Now, if I could just not run out of consumables, we should be in great shape. What I might want to do is use Flak Halberd of Fighter 2 to try to save some consumables, maybe. You need this emote where you're petting somebody with an NG. Nice. All right, no missiles, but they do have free borders. Okay, so... I'm just going to vent these guys forever. While I board here, mind control. Could not get that laser offline. Good dodges, though. Good dodges. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now the fight is safe. All right, nice. All right, didn't have to use any missiles or drone parts that fight. Beautiful. Uh, is there any other training I want to do? I think we're good on training here, unless I want to do like, I don't know, rock boarding training. Could have this as a secondary boarding party to finish these guys off, because we're fully trained, right? One guy lost a little bit. Let's do that. Let's we'll finish them off with these guys. Secondary boarding training. Whoops, I want the rock to finish him. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, this. Go your places. And this. Alright, Zelton Shield Bypass get! We got the most important augment. Well, yeah, it's probably slightly more important than backup DNA bank. Probably. Hey, at least we're not running out of fuel on this boarding ship, so that, that's good. Good about power, but I want to kind of save up for maybe, uh back up DNA bank, which is, I think, another 50 or 60, something like that. Investigate. Okay, big giant missile. All right, I'm going to hack board teleport on weapons this time. Is that what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to board shields my control hack weapons, yeah. meant to move you. Uh, you know what? We've already vented this room. Or maybe we can finish the fight quickly enough by uh, how low we got them quickly. Beautiful. Maxing out Columbia wouldn't be bad either. More heals per jump. Don't want to use a breach bomb to refresh you. I right, have one. Okay, civilian. Four civilian is nice. Now let's let's see if we have an early store before I spend any more scrap here at the civilian sector. DNA bank is forty. Okay, thank you, uh, Aflaeus. The answer to not having the DNA bank is get good, Kappa. True, true. All right. Well, we have at least two scrap gaining jumps before we could see a store. So let's go ahead and go Clone Bay Power. Six drone parts, eight missiles, and a partridge in a pear tree. Let's go. No training for Grima, because Ran knows you would be too strong. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. That's the reason. Okay, teleport shields, hack weapons. Mind control. Okay. Again, I don't want to hack every single fight, but I kind of have to hack every single fight. Okay, Clone Bay down. When their weapons look like this. I might actually fix Clone Bay if I don't move, though. Okay. That's all their crew? Nope, they've got a rock dude. Um... I'll do is this. They'll go fight them when they run out of oxygen. There we go. And then get the training. Okay, good. Uh, you don't know how valuable it is when, or viable it is when fighting Zoltan with Lanius to exit the room when the Zoltan is almost down and the room is vented to exit the room before it explodes. Well, you always have to have one person in there to finish them off, Vega. So one person is going to tank it. But yes, I, I did try to move one crew out while the other crew finished off a Zoltan to not get exploded on. That's not a bad idea. Not always super viable, depending on, you know, how many Zoltans they have. Wouldn't the Zoltan suffocate if there's no O2? Zoltan, enemy crew will not stay in a room if there's no O2. So they will never, they will never suffocate themselves to death. The AI is not stupid enough to do that. You'd have to do some manipulation to make them do that. And if you manipulate them to run through an o O2-less room, usually you have to have a crew in that room to keep it vented. Like, the idea is good, but 
Show me a video where you figure out how to do that without doing damage to your own crew before I say, yeah, that's a great strat. I, I can't think of how you manipulate them into an O2 room with just Lanius. Um, all right, let me wait and see if there's a store down here. Just noticed the Burst Laser 2 is the fifth best weapon in the game due to advanced flak. <laughs> okay. okay. He's running. We go here to stop him from running. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna accept double Burst Laser 2 damage. Oh, okay, good dodges. I think there might be a fire in that room. We'll fix that after the fight. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to refresh you guys. And now, deal with this fire. I can open these doors. Ah, uh, damn forward scouts, man. Low scrap for high risk. Right, that should be the fires out. Let's go make sure. Probably should have sent my rock instead of my lane. So we're gonna drain the room. Okay, we're good. Good. Uh, Lanius and the O2 after breach, you suppose, may make them commit to enter unless they try to run instead. Well, you're assuming you have a weapon that can give you a breach, M. Pain Train. Yes, I have a breach bomb now. Like, again, using just Lanius and no other tools is what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you have a breach bomb, sure, you can easily just bomb the Zoltans when they're low, and that'll do it. Trying to force Lanius to... or Zoltans to vent themselves when you have just Lanius crew without having the Lanius in the room the Zoltan's in is what I'm talking about, because I think that's what Vega's suggesting I attempt to do, and I don't... I, I can't think of a way to make that happen consistently. The teleporter upgrade... You missed part of the conversation? Yeah, that's, that's I think, what Vega was suggesting. There are a lot of interesting ways you can manipulate enemy crew, but forcing enemy crew to vent themselves is not the easiest thing. All right, how do I want to do this? Um, without using a drone part. I think I'm okay with using a missile, so... I think I board weapons, mind control weapons, and then I flak halberd beam their shield bay. Oh no, or get the breach missile online. Get the breach missile online. Just trying to not use a drone part here. Oh, I need you to die, sir. You are at one health. I need you to not be at one health. Oh my god, get through that door. There we go. Good. You guys go finish them. They should not fix the heal bay. There's a breach, so they won't go in there. Beautiful. That should be good. Very nice. Got our... Lanius kind of refreshed. Wouldn't a hacked room be the trick then? Move the Lanius out through the hacked doors while the Zoltan stays locked in. Yeah, there's probably some manipulation with Zoltan, uh, Lanius in a hacked room. Then you have to do something weird like move around so that the Zoltan goes into the hacked room, then move your Lanius back in the vented. But then you're putting your Lanius back in to get vented to vent the room so the Zoltan dies. So you'd probably have to kill O2 after locking the Zoltan in a hacked lockdown room that's vented. It's probably the way to do it. Sounds very complicated, but if somebody wants to figure out a strat and make a video about it on YouTube and get a thousand views, go for it. Go for it. Sounds luck dependent. You could probably manipulate it. But it takes some... That sounds... 
not like something super easy, and it sounds like something you'd want to be able to pause and manipulate around a lot, so not something I'm going to mess around with. Uh, I don't care about those weapons. No augments I care about. I don't see a second store, so let's go ahead and go buy all the drone parts and one missile. I wouldn't mind another weapon. That's kind of what I'm saving for now. Another weapon or backup DNA bank. We probably have enough for what we need for the boss. Heal bomb. Yeah, I don't really want to spend the scrap on it. If I'm now that I have level three clone bane, if I manipulate crew correctly, I don't really want to spend scrap on a heal bomb. Um, do 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 do. Going to half power jump. We're hoping this is manly search. Okay. Oh god, that's being drunk in this. Okay. Um, do -do -do -do. okay, good. that's dead. Ooh, sketchy fight. They just have really good offense for having half power. Right, we only took two damage there. Not too bad. That could have been way sketchier. Did have to use a drone part, but you know, it's whatever. Use a drone part on a missile. If I can use, well, one drone part per fight is what hacking is. I say, if I can use one drone part per fight, but that's what I was doing and I was running out of drone parts, so. <laughs> All right, we got a missile and a drone part back. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I probably need to use pause. It might work against Zoltan Border Police. I want to work against Zoltan Border Police. I mean, basically any Zoltan fight you board. Zoltan Border Police is Zoltan's on your own ship, which is seems, seems like a different strategy than what you're talking about. There you go. So, sure. Uh, it's a good deal, but I don't want to give away drill parts. Oh, man, there's my other store. I'd have to backtrack. Backtracking for backup DNA bank or a flak would probably be worth it, though. So let's do it. Or a heavy laser one would be great right now. A lot of good stuff we could get, actually. Fire beam. Pre-igniter. Oh, man. Pre-igniter breach two bomb sounds amazing. But I'd have to sell a weapon to get it. Or an augment. Or two. Uh man. Um, I mean, I could just buy charge laser so I have another weapon once we're done crew killing. How much to get that online to go flak halberd charge? Doesn't seem that good. Two couple more repair here. Let's just work towards the weapon upgrade, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't, I don't think any of this is good enough. I mean, fire beam, as great as it is, as it is I'm going to crew kill with boarding, so... We don't need fire beam to help with that. Okay. Maybe should have bought some fuel. Oh, well. Okay, cloaking. No drones. Pretty decent weapons. All right, that's cloaking two or three. I think that's three. Okay, his first volley won't be too bad. So do I need to hack? I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good. If he ha if he ion bombs my shields, that's the worst. Then heavy laser can do some damage, but we should make this pretty safe. Oops. 
a little late on moving that power around. Let's misplay a bit. All right, now, now fight safe. You thought this was a boarding ship. Talking about pre-igniter seems against that. Well, if there's one weapon you would that pre-igniting on a boarding ship would be OP on, it's breach bomb. Like breach bomb is the best boarding support weapon in the game. So pre-igniting that would be pretty badass. Insta breach then double board Lanius. That's like. That's like viewership level of power shenanigans right there. Pre-ignited breach two bomb double lanius boarding. That sounds that sounds like my kind of lanius boarding, honestly. Damn, no double reward. Do you pre-igniter? Yeah, we saw it at the store, but I couldn't afford it. If I go over this way, I dive. So I think we'll just go one, two, and then like three, four, five, something like that. If I see a store back here, it'll just be, darn, I missed it. Uh, so I'm gonna do one more jump, and then I'll probably do a weapon upgrade in power. Work towards getting this halberd beam up with this. Okay, quest marker. <laughs> so it's an escort, which could be a store. Oh man, do I? Take a non... This could be a ship fight, it could be a store, it could be free power upgrade. Maybe one other thing that I'm not thinking of. Two more sectors. We only have one more sector to go, actually. Eh, let's chance of store is probably worth. Reactor... Okay, it was the free reactor one. All right. Hoping that I'd get a store with the reactor. Here's the pro strat. FTL recently patched. Now you can pre-ignite your borders. <laughs> okay. Uh, this doesn't waste any scrap to do this, and it's cheaper than repairing at a store. Usually I don't like to ma repair to full, but if I can do it this efficiently, I'll do it. I will do it. That repair was two scrap per repair rather than three per repair at stores, so. Not a great ending to this civilian sector, honestly. Alright, alright. Exit beacon store. Um, guess we buy all the fuel. Advanced FTL navigation. There is an argument for this for getting a bunch of extra scrap in the final sector retreat retreat mode but I don't think I love any of this the unmute worked thank you thank you rocker mantis mantis bombers or rock cloak missiles I guess it's mantis mm, I mean I have the mind control and the teleporter not a lot of stores, but I think the ship's fights might be easy. I think they, I think you can get five shield Mantis ships in Sector 6, uh, 7, I think. I think I still prefer Mantis. I can't repair and I can vent them, so... Asteroids, asteroids. We can't get cloaking. I need to work towards that fourth shield, so... I'm going to get value point right now. I have only advanced flak and halberd to kill this guy, but uh, let's get one guy working on drones because we could take damage here, yeah. Okay, uh... Asteroid hit. So I can 
I'm gonna have to just teleport into their shields, I think, to really do this. Basically make the save. Oh, frick, I thought I finished that. Whoops. Go, go finish knocking the weapons down here. Wouldn't it have been better to board there to work on shields and other on weapons? I have no idea what you're trying to say there. I can't... I can't board on two separate sides of the ship with one teleport, if that's what you're saying. But sure, suggest what I should do. It's my favorite thing when it, when Twitch chat says, if you had done this, it would have been better. It's my favorite thing. There, bring you guys back. There we go, we got some damage through. Weird that would have annoyed you. Wow, what's that? People telling you how you should play? <laughs> it is kind of annoying. <laughs> but I'm trying to not snap out at chat so much. Because it happens every stream. People tell me what I could have done better. That's my favorite. It's the streamer life right there. Um, okay. If you'd gotten more scrappers of reward, it'd been better. It's true, it's true. I need to learn to do that better. Okay, cloaking, four shields, and really good weapons with double eye on. At least this guy doesn't have hacking to go with it. We should get there in time to not let him get another shot off. That's good. Streamer, just get free flax. Learn to play. I know, I know. I really should learn to play. Okay. Nice. All right. Now we're getting close to this being a safe fight. Yeah, Pie Boy is the one who uses the pro strats of uh, just get a free flag. Best strats. Actually, my favorite strat. My favorite one to use. If only I could do it more often. Last run, we used the pro strat of get free fire beam, halberd beam, and burst laser too. So we used that, that strat last run. This run, we got the awesome strat of get free breach bomb. So that was good. Rand not snapping at chat just leads to bubbling rage, extreme sarcasm. Yes, this is true. <laughs> My way of not snapping at chat is to be really snarky and sarcastic. That's that's my attempt to not be more ragey and yelly at chat. Ragey and yelly are those words? I don't know. But... Let the hate flow through you. Yes. Rage against the backstream, yeah. All right, let's see here. I'd like to... Uh, it's still worth looking for store for another weapon. So let's continue to explore for store. Why do ship designers even put doors inside auto scouts? Because it would look funny without them? I don't know. Request beacon there. Let's get, um... Let's get dodge power before I get my fifth, uh, fourth shield. Fifth shield, I'd love to get that. Why are there no railings in Star Wars where they're just falling off the <laughs> edge of the Star... Uh, the, uh, Death Star... Uh, platforms? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a great question. All right, I think I'm gonna hack heal bay here and turn on my breach. Bay. Everybody, come in. In the anti healing's fine. Very nice. Get a secondary group of boarders if needed. Finish them off when they're too low. Looks good. Nice. 
I love hacking heal bay and boarding in heal bay. I wish I could do it more because unfortunately hacking weapons is just too good to consistently win, but hacking heal bay, boarding heal bay is one of my favorite strategies. Maybe you should get some of the get good that people are talking about so often. Yeah, it's a good it's a good tip. Uh, modular building to facilitate faster drone construction. FTL OSHA is a biatch. Why is it only the rebels who have auto scouts? Shouldn't the Federation have some? You'd think the NGs would make a ton of them, huh? Yeah. Pulsar, no thank you. Um, do do do. Let's get that. Force shield. What's my biggest weakness in FTL? Hmm. It's a good question. Um, what do I think I could improve most on my FTL play? I've been working a lot on my boarding micro. I feel like power hotkey micro. Because there are still, because the different, the hotkeys to power these other systems Mind control, hacking, teleporter cloaking is different. Like, O2 is always shift F. Heal or clone bay is always shift D. Engine's always S. Shield's always A. So the ASDF ones I have memorized. The problem is that teleporter is G. But if I didn't have teleporter here and I had cloaking, cloaking wouldn't be G. Cloaking would be H. And if mind control wasn't here and hacking was here, then we'd have... The hotkey for adding power to hacking BL next to the G of adding power of teleporter. Now, you could argue you could change your hotkeys. The problem is if I change my hotkeys, then I'd have to relearn the ones I already know. So I would say power micro with uh, the default hotkeys is one of the things I'd like to improve on. Hotkeys are annoying. They are. And I know that Farb has changed those hotkeys. But then that adds in the issue of if you ever play in a tournament and you forget to change your hotkeys, then in the middle of the run you got to change your hotkeys. You know, and I just I don't want to change my hotkeys. That's maybe it's stubbornness. I just want to learn and get better at the ones that are already in the game. Yeah, kill your friends. That's my preference. Just learn the ones that are in the game and get better at those. I'm sure there's other things like decision making I can continue to improve at too, but um, if I had to choose one thing that I, if I wasn't in the middle of a streak and wanted to practice, it'd probably be power hotkeys. Uh, can we get some safety rails for the airlocks? Because humans keep falling out. Nah, that's a good thing. It's, you know, lightening our load. You're a simple man. C for cloak, M for mind control, T for teleporter. Yeah. If they could have just done the position on the bar determined by the key, so whatever is next to O2 is G and the next is H so far, that seems to make more sense. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably issues with that too, but I don't know. I don't know the answer. All right, two stores. Chances at, like, heavy laser one. Um... Backup DNA bank. Is it too late for that to be useful? Reconstructive teleport. Okay. Heavy laser one. All right. I think we just buy that and call that good. Um, Because phase one, I probably go advanced flak, breach, heavy laser, hack their missiles. Maybe not even have my weapons powered, but yeah. A nice one power weapon to finish up our build seems great. So I need a little bit more fuel. I'm going to buy one. Yeah, there's another store too. Honestly, I don't even want to go to that one, but I can't skip it, so. I do kind of need power for days. Automated reloader. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Um... Oh, my God. I kind of want to just sell Halberd and get flak, flak, heavy, heavy. <laughs> What's that bug? That bug when you're... It's caused by the uh, save game manager.
Hmm. Could have had a full flackening. Coulda. We woulda, coulda, shoulda. Alright. I mean, I, I don't need to do anything here. I need to maybe buy one fuel so I can get out of this sector. I, I would love to get more weapons, but I just need power and weapon upgrades. That's what I need to get. The long range scanners for Red Laser 1? Nah. Nah, I don't need to sell anything. Our build's ready for the boss. Our build is ready for the boss. We just gotta finish it up. How are my hands? They're pretty good. Pretty good. My control. Uh, we are in Sector 7, so... Yeah, I'll hack. Probably don't need to, but... Just do it. Good fight. Get blasted. Feels good for us again. We're in Sector 7. I only need enough fuel to get out of this sector. And if, in case you don't know, the amount of fuel you need to get out of a sector is one more than the jumps you see. So I have two jumps, so I need three fuel to get out. I ended up getting a bunch of extra fuel from this jump, apparently, so I actually have a little more fuel than I need. But At least that's the way I look at it. In Sector 7, you only need one more fuel than the number of jumps you're going to get, because you get ten free fuel from the boss, or from uh, Sector 8 beginning of the sector. I hope there's not a sector or a exit beacon store now that I spent all my scrap. You didn't know that about Sector 8? Yeah, they give you uh, 10 free repair and 10 free fuel when you get to Sector 8. Your small reward for making it there. <laughs> Alright, Grima, you've been great. Although, honestly, if I have a second group of borders, I'd rather have a human than an NG, so... Grima, you dodge a bullet. This is, uh, Grima Light. Shh. Who am I and what have I done with the real Rand? I vented an NG when I could have vented a human. Results based analysis says that Rand spent at minimum six scrap more than he needed to, fuel, to on fuel due to those fights. Kappa. That's right. Okay, I don't really need a repair station, so... Uh, for... Uh, so I don't really need any more weapon upgrades, because I can use Breach Bomb and this for Phase 1 for crew killing, and then swap to Halberd Beam. If I could get more weapon power, it'd be nice. I think my, the main thing I want is Max Teleporter and, of course, Power. So I'm going to go ahead and do Power first. Some value points would be useful. O2 if he hacks my O2... Piloting value so one shot doesn't kill all of our dodges. Ran program that NG to think it was a human named Grima and then vented it. It's true. Right. Uh, this is a not enough time. But it's a disruptor with hacking and drones. If he's got crazy drones, I might want to hack his drone control. Double offensive drones. Hacking. Okay, I am going to hack his drones. Damn, a lot of dodges. Uh, I did that wrong. Okay, at least triple hit. All right, Kobe's almost dead. There we go. Kobe down. That should do it. Dolphin flip. Beautiful. Great. Not enough time? Sh not enough time. Alright, 58 scrap. Yeah, I was hoping for some ship fights around here. Alright, uh, O2 and uh, piloting value. Then teleporter 3, maybe backup battery, final upgrades potentially. I am a monster. I am a monster. We are the bad guys. In case you were wondering. Um, okay, his weapons aren't too crazy. I'm gonna let him board. Kill his borders. Mm. 
Okay, that kills heal day. Don't match yourself, NG. Mind control you. Don't let him... Okay, good. He stopped repairing the heal day. Perfect. I might need to refresh my borders here. Yeah, I think I'm going to purposefully refresh my dudes here. Should do that. Finish him with these guys. Alright, don't let him fix the heal bay though. There we go. That should do it. Beautiful. A little bit of fighting training on these backup borders. Not bad. Am I doing another run after this? No, I don't I don't like to do three runs in a day. The third run, my hands start to hurt and my brain starts to get fried, so I'm I'm not planning on doing a third run today. I have to be feeling crazy good and have crazy fast runs. Although we did play two of the strongest ships in the game, so if I were to do a third run, it, today would be one of those days. I just I don't I don't like to um, try to force it. Yeah, know your limits. My limits have pretty much been two runs. Two runs before the salt takes over. And usually those two runs are the salt has already taken over. Now, with uh, when we had a just over two hour stealth A run. If we had like another crazy gunship that was just barely two hours, maybe uh, I would have gone for third one, but it's a boarding ship. Even if it's the strongest boarding ship, I don't want to, again, I don't want to push it and lose because I tried to go beyond what I was comfortable doing. All right, so 73 scrap, backup battery value. We could actually fight the boss early if we want to. Think about the starving salt miners. <laughs> well, if we will be ending a little early, so we'll 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 get a nice raid to uh, another FTL streamer. So that's probably what I'll do. The NG misses Grima Light and wanted to join him, huh? Mm, okay. Ooh, defend the outpost. Guaranteed double scrap reward. Whoops. Uh, do they still have crew healing here? They might. I think they do actually. Uh, I would. Let's make the fight safe. It's almost safe. It's almost safe. All right, if you could not heal, that would be great. And dodging just enough with nobody on piloting for me not to be able to finish his heal day. How flak two go down, bro? My God, this flak two will not go down. And he, just, the door stays open just long enough for him to go back and forth. Oh my God! All right, well, I hope four shields is enough to not take damage here. So annoying. Now it's finally down. Damn. Wow, he must have max piloting because he is dodging a ridiculous amount of shots for nobody on piloting. There it is. Frickin' finally. Jesus. Uh, I want you to refresh, though. I need this guy to refresh. Possibly two 6k plus scores in a run today? That would be crazy. Whew, that double reward, yeah. I mean, this, this, this ship is crazy strong. We've gotten a lot of free stuff, so I don't know if we've gotten enough to... Reduce our scrap to not get plus 6k plus. Amount of power, that rebel ship, 8 power and weapons and shields, yeah. Alright, so we don't get a repair. 
fine. Uh, what do I want to do here? Weapon value, and then these two value points, or do I want more power? I think I'd like all these value points, actually. I could maybe go do one more jump here and get enough scrap to get a little bit more power, potentially. If I, if I go to the boss now, it gives me more jumps to follow him and potentially play around a bad hack. So the worst hacks for when you're um, doing the crew kill boss fight are teleporter and hacking, I think. I think I'm going to just jump right to the boss so that we have... Um, So that we have, uh, God, I can't talk, um, more jumps to play around a bad hack. Let's do that. Actually, I could just wait. Now, nah, let's just go, go to um, start the fight. All right, teleporter hack or hacking hack, we run. Shield hack, I think we don't run. Door hack is frickin' great. Ooh, I was almost late on that. I was almost late on that. Beautiful. Alright. This might be a zero damage boss fight now. Really freaking good start. Depends on the ions. We need to not get triple hit by ions a bunch of times. Uh, although we should get the ions off pretty quickly here. Great. Reach that again. Beautiful. And then we board in the breach, and this is freaking GG, man. Let's get one clone bay up just in case. Frickin' clean phase one, man. Basically over. I have to kill him. Does that guy get out? He does. Alright, so I'm gonna let them kill him and then I'm gonna mind control. And it'll buy me time. Get my guys refreshed. Oh, the breach is not back up. Uh, breach it again. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh man, breach two bomb is so stinking good. So stinking good with Lania's boarding. There it is. Teleport into shields. Work on killing the shields. Swamp out our weapons. Uh, and actually, I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to be venting my own dudes here. I think this might actually float. Uh, okay, I get a little damage down. It's fine. Alright, well, you guys are just going to be vented. Sorry about that, bros. Sorry about that. You knew the risks. Nice. What a clean phase one, man. Frickin' clean. All right, we now we have mind control counter phase three. What we don't have is uh, cloaking for the drones phase two. But we have four shields. Um, okay, let's get one power so I can have level 202. Open all the doors except those. We need to deal with the boarding drone with these two guys. Um, let's see here. 
So we're hacking shields, insta-boarding missiles, and killing him as quickly as possible. Do I want to shoot my heavy laser? Do I want to shoot my heavy laser at drone control or just hit shields? Get the drone offline. I think I think we I think we fire everything at shields here. What are those dots in the sky, Dad? Flesh breadcrumbs, son. Flesh breadcrumbs. Okay. Right, here we go. Honestly, uh, hmm. No, this is fine. I was thinking if I need to do abduction strats, but I don't need to do abduction strats. I was thinking I, I won't have a safe place to jump back to the base now, but that's fine. Damn, I knew that time was going to mess up. Be done here. Take zero missile shots. Good dog is by him, though. Okay, you're, you got that done. That's good. Mm, our dodges were not good during this drone phase. Ouch. That was a painful drone phase. Wow. Okay. Uh, did he roll a bunch of combat drones or what? Because holy shit. Our four shields and high dodge was nothing there. That sucked. Not ideal. Not ideal. But we still have Zone Shield Bypass, so we can still insta-board on missiles to take zero missiles phase three, I think. So we should still be okay. Just not a great phase two. That could have done a lot better. It was over quick, yeah. Basically two volleys. But two volleys is not quick enough. All right, 36. I can get one more power. All right, so I guess I will level three teleporter in case I want to board a second time. Alright, so insta-board, missiles, auto-fire, get through Zoltan shield, and then hack shields once we're through. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where did all the crew go? We crew killed them phase one. Also, check the VOD. That would be the other thing. Okay, Rima, that's fine. We killed them with our borders. That's where the crew went. Cause he, he does get a missile off one one missile off, doesn't he? In phase three. And... Uh, good job, Neo. Good job. What the f? Don't cloak here. Okay, we're through. Um. Uh, guys, go work on piloting. A little slow on this hack here. Damn, our O2 burns down. That sucks. Fix that. Good dodges. All right, that should be it. That should be the GG. One more volley should do it. We will bring them home, chat. Bring them home. They've done such a good job. GG, Lanius B. What a good day of FTL. What a good day of FTL. Tuesday was two rough ships. Today was two o frick o frickin p ships. Good job, Neo. Thanks. That's me, Neo. Frickin' Neo over here. Uh, let's see, what do we got? That was the Lanius B. And that should be 11 in a row now, I think. 11 in a row. All right, let's let's uh, let's check that score. 58-15, not quite. We didn't quite break the 6K on that one. No long-range scanners to find all the ship fights. 48 ships, 97 beaks explored, 1900 scrap. We probably had a lot of... Well, actually... Oh, that was low free stuff for a boarding run. Only 102 free stuff scrap. And 77 of that was... What? The free breach bomb and free fire bomb and the free small bomb we got in Sector 1. We had three free bombs in Sector Bomb. Sector Bomb, Sector 1. Would have been funny if you left O2 down so ladies could rid their ship of all the mouth breezers. Yes, could have done that. Really good day of, F day of FTL. Anytime we get two wins in is a good day. So, my friends, that is going to do it for me. Like I said, I don't want to go for three runs and uh, die to my hands getting tired or my brain getting fried or we roll Zoltan C and uh, 
I have a terrible run to end the day. So let's end on a high note. And we will, I'll also throw a, we'll, I'll throw a raid somebody's way. Hopefully somebody else will play an FTL. So my friends, I hope you had a good time. Uh, always a blast hanging out with you awesome people. Uh, if there's anybody new to the stream, hope you have to follow. Come join us again. Tomorrow we're going to play, of course, WoW Classic Hardcore. We'll probably do a Dead Minds run on our Druid with Zero-G Bandit hanging out with us. And uh, I know a slightly shorter stream, but two wins is a good day. And we can send on the FTL love to another streamer. So, as usual, thanks for the bits. Follow subs, give to subs, lurking, all the amazing, awesome stuff you all do to support stream. Couldn't do without you awesome people. I'm going to head out and send a raid. So until next time, peace out, happy gaming. I'll see you all tomorrow or next week or whenever. Y'all have a great night. Later, my friends.